tiebreaker come the end of the season. The London Nationals are up three points on the LaSalle Vipers with two games left in regular season, and they will play each other once more on Family Day as we go ahead and send it up to Kyle and Jeremy. Thanks, JC. And it should be a very competitive matchup between these two teams. Two teams that in throughout the season have shown that they really don't like each other um, in multiple matchups throughout the season between the two teams. We've seen multiple suspensions happen, a lot of penalty minutes, but not a ton of scoring. Should be a very competitive game here tonight. Yeah, for sure. I mean, when these two teams always have had a rivalry throughout the years. So looking forward to tonight's matchup, you know, London has won three of the four contests so far in this season series matchup. So with them being inside the top four, big two points here tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Big guys for the uh, Nationals to look out for are the big three goal scorers on the back end for the LaSalle Vipers. Woodall, Lacotte, and Hamlin, all three pushing the double-digit goal mark. Not something we see very often in the GOJHL. And these guys are just driving the offense from the back end. And that just makes them lethal anytime they're out there. Very dangerous anytime they, they get an opportunity in the offensive zone. I mean, anytime you can have three of your defensemen on the back end provide this type of offensive presence, it's a huge help for your team. I mean, with Woodall, Lacotte, and Hamlin all being above the 30-point plateau and the 10-goal plateau as well, that certainly helps this LaSalle team who certainly wants to make a big playoff push as they currently sit fourth in the Western Conference. The other thing that's mentioned right there at the bottom, they're only one. They're the only team with more than one 10-plus goal scorer in the league for on the back end. Uh, the Nationals on their end, uh, Weingard, number one on the team with eight goals on the season. So uh, very different in mentalities how the team operates. LaSalle's offense all coming through the back end and generating from there and moving it up. Uh, looking at the standings now, the two teams here, like as we mentioned, right at the top, third and fourth. A lot of still battling going on between the two teams and a lot what can be still happening. Win tonight for the Nationals, moves them back into first place. Only two points back of St. Mary's, but have three games at hand. And you know, Leamington's there, biting at the bit there as well to get back to the top as well. 62 points, still right there. LaSalle, not too far back themselves. Three points, a win here, pushes them a long way and try to catch up in those top three spots. Yeah, we talked about how this is going to be a fight to the finish, especially for those top three teams with St. Mary's, Leamington, and London. But now we also can't forget about the LaSalle Vipers as well. Only three points behind, but they've also played 43 games compared to London's 41. So, again, London winning tonight. They get back first place. And you're going to see this, you know, rotation of Leamington, St. Mary's, and London fighting for that number one seed right until the very end of the regular season. So if you're the London Nationals, you want to try to win the remaining games that you have left to try to secure the first spot in the Western Conference. And with how competitive this Western Conference has been, that top that home ice advantage is going to be big in the uh, in the playoffs here to this, uh, this year. Now taking a look, we're going to look at the goaltender starting in net tonight. As always, for the London Nationals, we've got Joe Ranger in net. Once again, still looking for that second win on the season. Not to his fault, though. His numbers are stellar with that 916 save percentage and then a 320 goals against average on the other end. And, uh, Ian Micheloni uh, coming in now, has experience in the NHL with the Flint Firebirds, showing his uh, prowess here with the Flint, Flint Vipers. Uh, 15 games, 11-3-1, and, and a 921 save percentage. Pretty solid on the in their end. Yeah, it is certainly an experience for both goaltenders. Ranger coming from the Sudbury Wolves, Micheloni coming from the Flint Firebirds. So these two goaltenders certainly have the OHL experience and they have the numbers to prove why they are the two of the top goaltenders in this Western Conference. Absolutely. And with that, we're going to send it down to ice level for our opening ceremonies. Right to tonight's performance of the 
the national anthem, the Latin nationals wish to acknowledge the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, Lenapewa, and Adelanderan peoples, whose traditional lands we are gathered upon this evening. Fans, will you now please stand if you are able, remove your hats, and join us in the singing of our national anthem. Set for our opening face-off, we take a look at our keys to the game. Tonight's keys to the game are brought to you by Paul Salvador Masonry. For the LaSalle Vipers, it is depth scoring. LaSalle and Sarnia are the only Western Conference teams that don't have a player that is at a point per game average or better. The Vipers rely on scoring from a wide range of players, including their defensemen. And for the London Nationals, it is the forecheck. London worked hard on the forecheck last time they hosted LaSalle and created three of their goals and a few other high danger scoring chances from putting pressure on the Vipers defensemen and creating turnovers on the forecheck. And that is certainly going to be a key for both teams here tonight is to get on the forecheck early, try to create turnovers early and create those high dangerous scoring chances out in front of the net against two very experienced goaltenders for the Nationals and Joe Ranger and for the LaSalle Vipers in Michelone. And our opening face-off underway. Big scrub right up the top. Thompson in a headlock as the Nationals carry it across the blue line. And they'll make their way out. Martin gets a hit. Gillis will bring it across the blue line. Puck dished off to Thompson. Thompson's going to come down. He's got a two-on-one with Sandeby. Tries to get over to Sandeby. Nice defensive play by the Vipers. Deny the opportunity early. Puck sent down behind the net. Vipers may take possession. Another shot quickly. Another shot on net. That one just flies through the blue paint. Goes back to the blue line. Kopchuk, he's going to throw it on net. That just goes wide. Hawk gets thrown at the wall. Played right along the board in the front of the Flint net in front bench. Woodall brings it across the blue line. They're going to try to move down. Woodall again. He's going to take a shot. Just goes high over the net. Played again. Now. Vipers are trying to move it out front. Another shot on net. This one made, saved by Rangers. Sal put it back to the blue line. Caught now. He'll hold on. He takes a shot. Puts it wide. Still kept on the stick of the Vipers. Nash is trying to get a hold of it. Finally, we'll try to get killed to throw a body check behind the net. Nash will get the steal and will break it out. Pass intended for Mill, that gets deflected. Here come the Vipers again. Davis, he'll walk in, takes a shot, goes right off the crossbar. Back over to Connolly. Connolly's got a bit of room to breathe. He's going to throw a cross ice. That goes off a body in the middle of the ice. Quickly turn back over. Three on two now. Right in the slot. Walks in, shoots, scores! Beautiful play down low, and Cole Davis opens the scoring. one nothing. And once again, we talked about a fo the forecheck being starting early on. And this was created off of a turnover right in the neutral zone. And a beautiful shot there by Davis as he's able to go up over the blocker of Joe Ranger on that play. You can see Sam O'Reilly tried to make a little soft touch pass, but that ended up being right onto a LaSalle Viper stick. And they jumped on it right away. Three players right across the blue line. And Davis was able to finish that off 
for the Vipers as they now have the early 1-0 lead, not even two minutes into this contest. He's going to come right back down on the attack again. Take another shot, goes right on to Ranger, and he'll hang on. Quick offense coming in bunches here for the Vipers, but Ranger standing tall as he gets back in the game with a nice save. That good little burst of speed there by Finley as he was able to use his speed, drive wide, and get right towards the net and tried to beat Joe Ranger five hole, but Ranger very sharp when he recognizes a player coming in tight from the wide side. Knight gets pitched off along the board. Puck stolen by French as he's going to break out. Puck gets lost to the D to Findlay. Brought back out. Almost gets right onto the stick of Rubrik right in front of the net. Here comes Knight along the boards. Gets stalled up. French throws a hit. Dishes it over to Wood right in the middle of the ice. Wood walks in. He takes a shot, just goes over the net. Wood recovers the puck. Tries to throw it down in the corner, stolen by Knight. Nice little good stick work by Lee Knight as he moves that puck into the offensive zone. Sal going off for a change. Orange just throw it into the corner. Line guard tries to get a stick on it. Turn back around. Horn again, he's going to take a hold of it. He's going to dump behind the net. Picked up by Booker. Steal as the wine guard's gonna break it out up to French right in the middle of the ice. He's gonna try to split the D, but can't. Wine guard's there to recover the puck and set it back to Kopchuk. Long pass intended for Bunker, but just out of his reach. So we'll have a face off back in the Nationals end. And so far early on in this contest, LaSalle Vipers seem to have the early flow in this game as they're able to gain zone entry and use their speed to try to get past this London D early on, and the Nationals have yet to really have a good shot on the net so far and really gather anything yet towards the net as the shots currently read three to one in favor of the LaSalle Vipers. This is a big game for both of these clubs. Faceoff win almost gets turned into a beautiful scoring chance right in the front of the Nationals net. Pace Ross spins it, gets up to Weingart. Weingart leads the rush, he just throws a nice hit, taking down Woodall. On the boards, kept in by Bunker. He's going to throw it towards the net. Woodall collects it along the boards. He's going to bank it out. Intended for Mark. Just out of his reach, as Bunker's going to say, send the Nationals back the other way. Woodall carries it out over the red line into the offensive zone. He's got a chance to move. Tries to get around Connolly. He's going to try to sneak in short side. Quickly turn back over. Thompson sends the offense the other way. Pace Rock can't quite get the puck too deep. Thompson does a great job of applying some pressure. Puck does come out, but not in time as Thompson not quite over the blue line yet. So we will have an offside and reset just outside the Vipers net bench. So for the Nationals, they are still without Captain Owen McGowan. They are down Curtis Hagee. Rylan Bowers out of the lineup as well. So is Lucas Chart. So you have guys like Ryan Rubrick drawing into the lineup. Nolan Griffith into the line of, lineup as well. So a bit of some line juggling going on for Dave Matos' club here early in this contest. A lot of the big scores out of the lineup. Uh, going to have to see somebody step up tonight. Uh, Got to keep an eye on who it is uh, so far. We, said, we saw in last week's contest after the Nationals were down by four. Saw a lot of great offensive work by Weingart on the back end, picking up those two goals within those last two minutes. Uh, really trying to generate some offense. Going to see more of that from a few other players if the Nationals want to try to at least come back in this contest. Already down 1-0. Another shot, not only the second shot on net for Micheloni, but he makes the save and hangs on. And it was a good save at that as Braden Sanity able to find that loose puck and he had a little miniature breakaway and Micheloni was able to make that big save early. Conley, he comes in, he puts the puck on net, just flies high and over. Kept in by Luddington, Luddington gets forced to turn over. Puck comes out to neutralize. Bat out of midair by Sanity. Sanity gets stripped of the puck. Viper's gonna come in, nice little move, almost successful. Coming down the right way, right side is Davis. Going, looking for his second of the game already. Lacotte, beautiful lead pass up to Davis. Davis going to walk in, just to the middle of the ice. Backhand chance, just through Ranger, but stays out. 
This top line for the Vipers are proving a lot of problems for the Nationals so far. Here they come again, get to the blue line, into the offensive zone. Puck turned over. Luddington's going to try to bring it out. Moves up to Ryan, back to Luddington. Davis can't quite get it, loses it in his feet. McManus, he's going to get, he gets stopped up. O'Reilly gets the steal, he's going to bring it to the offensive zone. Drop pass behind the Vipers net. Horn will pick it up and he'll look for the outlet pass. Nice long lead pass, breaks it in, takes the shot as he falls down in the play as Torrin. Turn back the other way, here comes Palmer. Palmer, nice cross ice pass over to Riley, right in the middle, but he bobbles it, can't quite get the shot off. Kept in the blue line by Griffiths. Stand now by Knight. Laid down low, held onto by Hamlin, he's gonna move that puck out. Up to Knight. Knight takes the hit, but fights it off past McKinnon. Let's puck down in the corner. Tries to dish it out. Nobody there for it. Hamill will collect it. Keeps it in the offensive zone. Nice little backhand pass out front. Bouncing puck. Almost fools Ranger, but Palmer there to scoop it up. Nash is going off for a change. Another long pass by the Viper, bringing it into the offensive zone. Puck goes off a leg, now back to Palmer. A little bit of miscommunication in front of the Nationals' net. They will collect the puck and bring it out by Weingart. Weingart, lose control of the puck. Turn back the other way. Back onto the stick, Kopchuk. Kopchuk, fans on the pass. Does succeed on the second effort. French over to Wood. Wood circles back, had a chance for the shot, but didn't take it. Kopchuk takes a shot, that hits a body out front. Back uh, over to the blue, over the red line. Booker, he's just going to take it, dump it into the far corner. Woodall tries to put it out front, back onto the stick of Booker, who can't quite connect on the, on the pass. Wood gets it up to the blue line. He's got Rubric with him. Bouncing puck, French will just deflect in the offensive zone. Wood tries to get there. It's a good hustle by Woodall, keeps the puck on Viper sticks. Long pass intended for Booker, does get tipped, so no icing. Eaton picks off the pass. Lucks the puck again, sent down down to Booker. Stolen again, this time by Rubric. French will carry it out himself. He gets stopped up by Lacotte, turned the other way. And offside is the call. Booker just well over the blue line as he reaches back to the puck. And we're seeing a lot of the stretch passes being made from the LaSalle zone all the way to the national blue line by that LaSalle. These are doing a very good job of activating themselves, getting that puck as quick as they can into the offensive zone so they can attack. Stalled up, the Vipers will have to regroup in their own zone. A little bit of back and forth here. Caught, moves the puck out, intended for Martin, ends up going off his skate. Now we back to Martin, carries it across the blue line, follows through the hit, throws the puck out front, no shot on the play. Another pass out front, that one just missed the intended target. Go down the length of the ice, no icing on the play, so it goes off a Viper stick. It's out, resetting. Nice lead pass, brings it to the offensive zone. He walks in, takes a shot. Beautiful save by Ranger. Carson will try to bank it off the boards. And we'll have our first penalty of the game. Interference is the call. And we Burkett it, head to the box. Not too happy with it after getting that beautiful scoring chance. Yeah, as we'll take a look at it again. A stretch pass from the LaSalle zone. And Burgess is away, or pardon me, Bur Burkett's away on that shot, and it's a good save made there by Joe Ranger, and the Nationals get to work on their first power play of tonight's contest. The Nationals offense has been pretty stagnant so far in this game. Power play hopefully bringing a bit to life. Walks in, Ryan O'Reilly takes the shot right into the chest protector of Nicoloni. Uh, 
Yeah, good pressure there by the Nationals. They win the draw and they get their setup away as they pass it up high with their three passes and O'Reilly ends up getting that shot away. And it was a good one and then it was stopped there by Michelinie. Puck comes out into the neutral ice. McManus gets it and gets a hold of it. He makes a nice move, gets it around, tries to get the pass in the front of the net. Good work, the stick work by Isaiah Ludington to stop that opportunity. O'Reilly with the puck behind his own net. Over to Ludington. Now to Weingart. Across the blue line. Weingart takes a shot. Rebound opportunity. Tries to follow it up himself, but the bouncing puck will not let him. McManus takes a big hit along the boards. Still keeps the puck. Banks it off. Gets it into the neutralized, but not as far as he wanted it. Weingart over to Palmer. Palmer back to the middle of the ice to Sam O'Reilly. Back to Palmer. Palmer tries to break in on the right wing, left wing side. Lund hit the blue line. Tips right out front. Rebound chance right up the side of the net. Diving play by Michelone. Keeps the puck out. Great second effort chances by the Vipers that by. Yeah, follow the bouncing puck as it worked its way back towards the blue line. And it deflected just wide of Michelone on the left hand side. You'll see it here on your screen. There's the shot, gets deflected to the left, goes back behind the net, bounces almost right back out in front on the right side as Michelone had to push strong back towards that post as it came off of its moorings. And a shot from the blue line, this time by Kopchuk, goes right at the glove of Michelone. You see a whistle happen. And that's something you're going to see a lot of in tonight's contest between both Ranger and Michelone is the experience of tracking the puck. They both played in the Ontario Hockey League for a reason. Here comes Davis. He's just going to walk in all alone, takes a shot. Nice save by Ranger. As that is the third time already the uh, Nationals have been burnt by a uh, great scoring opportunity on a break. Come down again. Speed. Here come the here come the Vipers. Two on one opportunity. Right out front, just misses the pass. Huge opportunity, but can't make it happen. Here come the Nationals the other way. Carson gets the pass over. That gets deflected on the way back over to Milne. Vipers across the blue line. Nice little move inside. Puts the puck on net. That gets tipped by Ranger. Ends up back on the stick of the Nationals. Chance after chance for the LaSalle Vipers, but can't get anything to go. Puck comes out. Tended for Booker. Bounces off him. Ryan will get it. Bring it to the blue line, but just offside. And the Nationals will have to reset. Just outside of the LaSalle zone. Well, what a great penalty kill here by the LaSalle Vipers as they were able to gain control and create not one, but two shorthanded almost breakaways. As we'll see this first one as a beautiful breakaway here by Graniero as he's able to just miss wide. And then there will we'll show a later opportunity where it ended up being a 2 on 0 and the pass just didn't end up working out. And they're offside as the uh, Vipers try to get into the zone, but we stopped up. Speaking of that second chance, we'll get a look at it right here as, again, another chance for Graniero as he just wasn't able to get that pass as it was a little too hot to handle and Joe Ranger stretched across. No save needed on that play, but Ranger's been needed a lot so far in this first period. Horn tries to flip the puck out, gets to the blue line. Horn again takes another shot and slides wide of Ranger. McKinnon will just deflect into the, off into the offensive zone. Quickly turned over. Vipers trying to figure out what to do with it. Hamlin. Puck gets dished out. Picked up by Eaton. Eaton can't do anything with it. Does get into the offensive zone. Picked up by Booker. Booker waits. Just throws it softly in front of the net. Right onto the pad of Ranger who holds on. And as always, our first period is brought to you by JNF Concrete and Ready Mix. Yeah, we talked about how in this season series so far, we've seen a lot of physicality between these two clubs as we've seen suspensions, we've seen game misconduct between these two teams. So, gotta watch one face of those guys. Off, gotta watch face off closely as a friend of the show, Kyle Friel, drops the puck. Puts puck on net once again and another save by Ranger. And we'll get to watch more of Kyle Friel's work here as he gets to drop this puck once again and we'll get critique his puck dropping skills on this drop. Looks good for me. Look fair. I don't, don't have any problems with that. 
Puck right out front. Another shot this time by Martin. And Griffiths had to be all over top of him to stop that golden opportunity. As chance after chance, this Nationals defense and goaltending has been pressured quite a bit. And once again, it's that quick stretch pass. No matter where it came from so far in tonight's contest, the Vipers are finding that open man and another dangerous scoring chance. And then once again, the London defense and Joe Ranger having to come up big on these opportunities. Puck thrown cross ice, just hits Ryan up high. Ends up going into the zone, picked up now by Sanavi. Sanavi is stopped up. Puck sent behind the net. Vipers, long pass off to McKinnon. Nationals not quite clear the zone, have to tag up and regroup. Gillis, he'll bring it across the blue line. He's got Martin with him. Ends up throwing the puck behind the net. Griffiths almost loses it. Now the puck's stolen back. Now out well, of the Griffiths stick again. He gets it over to Connolly. Connolly up to Sandeby. Sandeby, nice floater Ray right over to Thompson. A little too hot for him to handle. But Cott will pick it, send it back out to the neutral ice. Back over to Lacotte. Lacotte, nice little move. He's going to get to the attacking zone. Waits up, fires. That one gets to block by Connolly. He recovers it again, takes a shot at a sharp angle. That's going to take an awkward bounce and head all the way back down to LaSalle zone. 6-18 remaining here in the first period. 1-0 is your score in favor of the LaSalle Vipers. And shots 10-5 in favor of the LaSalle Vipers as well. Shot on net. Ranger makes the save, another rebound attempt. Ends up back on the stick of Milne. Over to O'Reilly. Bouncing puck again. Viper set it down low. Try to get a hold of it. Nashville still trying to keep with it. Puck set back to the blue line. Horn, cross ice pass. Another shot on net. That gets, to, that gets blocked by Ludington. Lennington's going to bring it out himself. He's got two men with him. Pass over to Milne, which is a little too far behind him for him to handle. Puck's thrown around the boards. There's a zone. Nice pickoff by O'Reilly. O'Reilly sends it back out into the national zone for Kopchuk. Over to Ludington. Back to Kopchuk. Guys get a deflection pass. Stole by McManus. It back into the offensive zone for the Vipers. Blues puck brought right down again. Beautiful chance, bouncing puck gets, bounces over the net. The Vipers try to get it back to the point to Horn, but it's stolen by Carson. He just dumps it in the offensive zone. Puck banked around the boards. Vipers collect it. Vipers try to regroup and reset. Over to Horn. Cross ice pass connects. Just can't quite get a footing. It's Kovetsky. And he'll just take a tumble down. And buck. Puck does end up on the stick of night. Bunker tries to clear the zone. Can't quite get past Horn. Horn leaves it for Knight. Knight behind the net. Kovetsky back out front. Tries to get on net. And Ranger gets toppled into his own cage. The net does come up. It's more into the time. You see a whistle and reset. Yeah, Joe Ranger's job as a goaltender is to stop the puck. And this is one where it's not exactly in the playbook where he just had to basically throw his stick to poke check it. It goes up over top of the net. And then on this one, he just kind of gets nicked right out in front as there was two Nationals out right, right out in front with a Viper player in Lee Knight as he took a bit of a nick there and fell. And as that play happened, the net went off of its mooring, so he gets a face off just to the right-hand side. Face off won by the Nationals. They'll try to break it out. Nice defensive play by the Vipers, able to turn it back around. Big shot and a nice windmill save by Joe Ranger, bringing back the windmill Wednesday here at the Western Fair Sports Center. Yeah, that was a tougher save than you think on that play as he had a, two players right in front. He sees it late as it's pretty much coming right for his mask as he's able to move and make that nice little windmill Wednesday save, something that we don't didn't really see too often here at the Western Fair Sports Center, but since Joe Ranger's been back in net for the Nationals, Windmill Wednesday has returned. French, nice lead pass up to Wood. Wood's got a man with him. Back out front, takes the shot, bouncing puck, and Rubric can't quite connect. Vipers turn it back the other way. 
Big head of speed coming down the lane. Turn back around, back into the neutral ice. Another pass onto the stick of Eaton. Eaton, he's just going to go, try to go right through the D. Punches his way through, but the puck is a little too far ahead of him. And easily goes the Ranger. Well, one of the Nationals players that's had a good year so far against the LaSalle Vipers is Riley Wood, and he had a two-on-one opportunity there with Ryan Rubrick and Wood did a good job of delaying as long as he could to make that pass over to Rubrick. And unfortunately for Ryan, he wasn't able to get that one-timer off that we've seen him do a lot of times when he's played for the Nationals this year. Caught over skates the puck. Puck sent back down around. Huge hit, collision right at the uh, LaSalle blue line. Riley Wood will be the man to keep an eye out for on the uh, London Nationals so far tonight. Has had a great success throughout the season with against the South Vipers. And let's try to replicate that as the Nationals still need a goal. Down one here in the dying minutes of the first. Nationals collect the puck. Behind the net, Sanity assesses the situation. Makes his way past one Deese. Tries to get it back, stolen by Lacotte. Almost does, but Sandby takes a tumble and denies the turnover. Shot coming across the blue line by Ryan. Loved down and held on to by Michelone. Yeah, good shot on net there by Tanner Ryan as he got that puck as they had to touch up for the potential offside as he gains his own entry once again. Throws the puck onto the net and a good glove save there by Michelone as shots are reading 13 to six in favor of the LaSalle Vipers. And it looks like the centerman on that play is gonna get waved out of there as Gillis will be out and they'll put a new center in for the face off. Drop happens, Vipers win the draw. Up and picked up by Hamlin as he'll try to send another lead pass up to Martin. Ends up going right on to Ranger, so no, no icing. Gillis with the nice steal, keeps the puck on the Viper sticks. Back up to the blue line, just a little too far away from Hamlin. Over to Horn, back to Hamlin. Hamlin up to Mar up to Gillis. Gillis gets stalled up at the blue line. Goes back to Horn. Horn will just dump it in. Goes behind the net. Ranger will just leave it for his defense for his D-man. Nice little move by Griffiths. Brings it out. Fans on the pass. Almost turn, almost stolen and sent back the other way. Puck will be picked up by the Vipers. Almost picked off from the center ice logo by O'Reilly. Griffiths puts it back up the wall. Moore sent in the offensive zone. Played down by Connell. He bags it back up the wall. Sent down behind the Nationals net. In the backhand by Connolly gets it onto the stick. Griffiths. Long pass, cross ice. Picked up by Mill. Mill right at the blue line, gets stopped up. Connolly will just sent down into the corner. Foul for the puck, down low. Lasalle comes away with it. McManus at the blue line, he gets stalled up. Puck does come out. Vipers do clear in times of no offside, but quickly sent back the other way for the Nationals. Nice little backhand saucer pass up to French. French into the offensive zone. He circles back, tries to find a pass. That gets stalled. Turn the other way. Here come the Vipers. Another steal. Try to hit onto the stick of Rubric. Just out of his reach. Lacan moves it up to the blue line. Into the offensive zone. McMahon brings it down low. Tries to get a shot on that. That gets stalled up. Back to the blue line. Woodall. Nice cross ice pass. Puck sent down into the net area, can't quite get on net. Back to Woodall, Woodall's got a lane, he takes a shot, tries to get a deflection out front. Gets turned aside by, by Ranger. Man, it's down low, can't get a hold. Put back up the wall. Woodall will keep it in. Back to McManus, he waits. Now takes a shot, that goes off a leg of Conlon. And into the corner. Ludington, he's gonna try to get it out. He's got a little help from Ryan Rubrick. Puck will back, come back up the wall, picked up by Woodall. Breakaway opportunity, here goes French. French all alone 
and time expires just as he gets in the zone. And that will do it for our first period. The LaSalle Vipers lead the London Nationals by a score of 1-0. You are watching the London Bruin Co-op Nationals Hockey here on Rogers TV. I'm joined here with Spencer Lacotte, captain of the LaSalle Vipers. Now, Spencer, your team got off to a pretty good start here. Yeah, I know the boys came out flying. We were ready to go right off the, the jump, so that was pretty good. Uh, I like that all our teams are getting involved here, too, so that was a key part to this period. Outside of hockey, you were also enrolled at the University of Windsor. How do you find balancing between school and hockey? Yeah, it's pretty tough, but I got a, a bunch of supportive people around me, so it's pretty easy. The Vipers have a pretty good schedule, and I work around that, so pretty good. Outside of hockey, you also do have another talent. Some of your teammates were telling me that you're a pretty good poker player. Yeah, if you ask them, I take all their money, but uh, we aren't going to talk about that. As we get ready and set for playoffs, what are your hopes for your team by the end of the season? You know, I just help, hope to help our team and make a deep run here and hopefully win it all. It's my last year, so trying to make the most of it. Thanks so much, Spencer. We'll be right back with more London Brewing Co-op National Hockey right after this.
to the London Bruin Club Nationals Hockey here on Rogers TV. After 20 minutes of play, the LaSalle Vipers leading the London Nationals by a score of 1-0. Uh, a goal by Cole Davis. And what a start to the game by the Vipers, really jumping the gun and getting all over the Nationals. And basically it just continued to roll from there as it was basically all Vipers all period long. Yeah, I mean, and that's the exact start that the LaSalle Vipers wanted, especially considering that most Wednesday nights, they're at home. So a rare Wednesday road game for them. They wanted to get excited for this one. And right off the start, they showcased their physicality. They got on the floor check early. And they got a turnover, which rewarded into a goal for the Vipers, which is why they have the one nothing lead. So it's a good early start here for the LaSalle Vipers. And Mick Maloney has been sharp in the LaSalle net as well. Has been tested too much, but has been sharp. And then we'll take a look at what we did see in that goal as it was right and early in the first minute of play. Uh, Vipers just coming off the turnover, bring it right down low, and Davis right in the middle. As you can see, Ranger, no idea where that puck was going. Just had him completely fold. And Davis continues to take his scoring lead on the team. 18 goals on the season for Davis. And beautiful play. You don't see the shots there. 15 to 6 in favor of the LaSalle Vipers. And that's including a Nationals power play where the Vipers outshot them 3 to 1. Yeah, and I mean, that, that Nationals power play looks more like a LaSalle power play where you just have two on ones back and forth with the LaSalle Vipers. They were getting on the London D very aggressively. And which is, again, another reason why they have dominated that first period. And for the Nationals heading into this second period, they need to do a better job of being right with those LaSalle Vipers players. They're giving them a little more room right now. So certainly something that London will want to fix heading into period number two. Another thing I think the Nationals really want to fix is stopping those uh, those long lead passes. We saw like seven or eight times for that first period how LaSalle easily was splitting the Nationals D and sending someone going on these beautiful chances. And it's not just breakaways, it's two-on-ones, three-on-ones, uh, a lot of dangerous chances coming down and leaving a lot of pressure on the Nationals defense and Joe Ranger. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing. Like, you look at that LaSalle, again, they're three defensemen that have those 10 goals. That's one of the reasons why, is they make that stretch pass and they're right away into the offensive zone. They're creating that offensive pressure and then they get rewarded themselves by being able to take their time getting into the offensive zone themselves and then getting the puck towards the net. And Joe Ranger's been very busy here tonight and he's only allowed the one goal so far. Otherwise, this could have been very ugly for the London Nationals. Absolutely. We'll see what happens here. Is it going to be more pressure by the Vipers or the Nationals turn it around here as we get set for our second period on the London Bruin Co-op National Soccer on Rogers TV.
we, as we welcome back to the Western Affairs Sports Center, we take a look at our Paul Duarte and Associate shots on goal. Uh, after 20 minutes of play, shots 15 to 6 in favor of the LaSalle Vipers over the London Nationals. Score still stands at 1 0. As we take a look to next week's contest, once again, the Leamington Flyers are back in town as it is a battle for that number one spot. As they, as the uh, Leamington comes in and once again still holding a season sweep on the line against the Nationals. The Nationals hoping to get at least two points off the Flyers uh, going into the final few weeks of the regular season. As we get set here, still one nothing on the score sheet, thanks to the nice goal by Davis at the start of the first period. The Nationals hopefully coming out with a bit different energy here in the second as. Uh, didn't really have too much in the offensive end to really be happy about. It was one of those situations where they weren't really on the Vipers players aggressively. We've seen them in the past where Dave Matos likes his group to be heavy on the four check. And in that first period, they had backed off, given LaSalle a little more space. And it was one of the reasons why the Vipers got their goal was off of a turnover from Sam O'Reilly right in the center ice area, and then LaSalle comes in on a three on two, and they were able to capitalize. Over Sandeby, Sandeby comes in, he takes the shot, goes right Go! over the shoulder of Michelone. Puck goes down the entire length of the ice. Weingard will collect it. He gets pressured by Mark. Weingard, nice long pass. Here come the Nationals, three on two into the offensive zone. Over to Sandeby. Sandeby gets his pocket picked. Vipers going to turn it around quickly the other way. Walking in, nice and light pass, and going back and forth, takes a shot right over the shoulder of Ranger. We have the half wall. Gillis, he can't get a stick on it. Pass for Wood. Wood, breakaway chance, but just a bit too far ahead of him. A beautiful lead pass, just a little too hot for the handle. Bodies falling all along the center ice line. And the Nationals come away with the puck. Quick almost turned over right in the slot area. O'Reilly, nice pass over to Milne. Milne, bag pass off the wall, gets it up to Palmer. Back to Milne. Milne tipped out front, just misses the net. Close play right along the wall, or right along the post. Puck slides right through the blue ice. Nobody there to collect it, though. Michelone almost getting lucky on a couple of plays. Puck right back up front again. This Nationals line getting all kinds of chances, but nobody there to convert. Griffiths forces the puck up to the blue line. Davis keeps it in. Griffiths again, he's going to get a hold of it. Gets it up to the blue line. Sent pass up to Mill. Mill, nice little work, gets a hold of the puck again. Draw pass for Palmer. Palmer tries to get it back in, back to Griffiths. Vipers counterattack the other way. Renero back up front, takes a shot on net right into the bread basket of Ranger, has to dive to hold on to it, and gets the whistle. And trading chances back and forth. As once again, a nice little play here at the blue line. Look at this little tip here by Sam O'Reilly. He does it in between the leg, kind of a, I might as well just touch it and see what happens to it. And it almost sneaks past Nicoloni as he didn't really think anything of it of potentially going in and it just misses wide and then the Vipers go down the other way two on one and once again Joe Ranger haven't come up big once again. Here comes French across the blue line he winds up and fires loose puck tries to get a rebound opportunity but the falling player mixed in with Michelone's pad knocked the net off its moorings. And once again another shot that one sneaks through and it ends up being a good blocker saved by Michelone as everyone started to crash the net. French with a good hard shot. Goes off Michelone's blocker, slips behind him, going towards the near corner boards here and goes away. But once again, everyone drove towards the net. And Sean Horn ended up being taken out of the play and knocking the net off. Puck brought out, here comes Knight. Knight, nice little speed boost, tries to move right through the middle. Loose puck, takes the shot, and go. Huck does go in, but they're going to wave it off right away as Knight just crashes right into Ranger. Ranger can't quite get back to make any play on it. Yeah, the referee waited up to see this play develop as once again, Knight walks in, he stumbles at the line, 
and his momentum takes him right into Joe Ranger, and the Vipers celebrate, and they right away put their arms down as they saw the referee wave that puck, or wave that goal off as Ranger was interfered with by the South player. Torn big one time over to Hamlin. Puck whistled right over the net and into the netting. And Sal might have been looking for a penalty there as Knight had stumbled right as he at the top of the circle. And he did a good job with the puck protection, keeping it towards the front of that and trying to beat Joe Ranger. But once again, he bumped right into Ranger and caused the interference, and the goal was taken away. Knight always fights off the hip check. Held on to by Connolly. Clears it out into the neutral ice. Sent back into the national zone. Nationals will regroup. Try to move the puck out. Pass intended for Ryan. That gets picked off. So almost sent back into the national zone. But here comes French. French over to Ruber. Ruber takes a shot. Catches in tight. And we we'll see a bit of a scrum happen after the fact. As they're not happy with French. And the gloves are flying. Said earlier in the broadcast, these two teams not fans of each other, and it only takes one little incident for the water to boil over. Kvetsky uh, and French drop the mitts and go at it. You do see the sportsmanship after it, both of them get each other the tap after the fight. And again, Rubric with the shot, the puck came loose, which is why French went with the dig move towards Michelone. As Michelone didn't originally have it, but then he got it, and then that shot happened, and LaSalle's going to take exception to it. As Kotevsky on that play recognizes that he's going to defend his goaltender, and French knows what's coming. He knows there's going to be some pushback, and so French and Kotevsky decide to drop the mitts, and they will their night will be over for the rest of the game. They got their fight in, they play a period, and they are hitting the showers early. Yep, as is uh, GOJHL rules, uh, you drop the gloves, you are uh, done for the game. And uh, we will just go back to 5-on-5 five five hockey. It's puck set into the uh, Viper zone. Puck turned around, Finley. Moves over to Lacotte, Lacotte, Lacotte. Tries to get it up high, hits his own teammate right in the side of the head. He's taking that hard. And here come the Nationals across the blue line. Pace Roth takes a shot, caught up high. Yeah, Fratoli took that shot up high as it was just a basic, simple dump in on the play. As they just tried to get it up off the glass and it catches Fratoli just right in the neck area. A bit of a deflection off the boards, off. And he's gonna feel that one as that one's quite the stinger. As he's just currently in the cutway, trying to stay in this game as Masao doesn't want to go down two players early on in the second period. It looks like it just stuns him, catching him right in the ear well of the uh, the helmet. Uh, it's got protection there, but not a ton. A ton. Uh, pack over to Sanity. Sanity into the offensive zone. Flipped over Wood. He's gonna dump it down low. Sanity picks it up again. Tries to dish it out. Wood a bit too high. And Wood can't get a stick on it to make anything go. Kopchuk turns it back to Wood. Back to Kopchuk again. Over to Weingart. Weingart up to Sandin. Sandin across the blue line. He's got Topka going down the middle. Tries to throw it over to him. That gets tipped out front. Kopchuk back at the blue line. He takes a shot from distance. Tipped out. Weingart does a great job holding the line. Just out of the reach of Sandin. Sal will collect the puck. They'll move it out. Back in the neutral ice. Puck over to Wood. Wood had not cleared the zone quite yet. We're going to call offside on the play. We will reset outside of the Viper zone. One of them trying to get a quick change. And that one door is both doors here at the Western Fair on the far side of each bench are inside the blue line. So if you're going to make that offensive change, you want to try to do it as quick as you can with the officials quick to call the Nationals on that offside call. Puck comes out, Pace Roth almost tries to get a nice stick lift in on the puck. Carson does a great job of doing the same. Carson 
Well, that's the puck. Waits. Tries to get over to Pace Roth. Ends up on the far side. Shot from Griffiths. That finds its way through, but can't go first beyond net. Puck out front. Bunker can't get a stick on it. Loose puck still. Nationals getting chance after chance, but can't find the back of the net. McManus across the blue line. He's got Davis with him. Back over to Davis. Davis, nice, beautiful move. Doesn't take the shot, though. Ends up back on Davis' stick behind the net. Back to the blue line. Hamlin, he takes a shot on that, finds it, tries to find a tip on the way to the target. But ends up going right to the glove of Joe Ranger. Well, we just witnessed two great A scoring opportunities, won by the Nationals on this play, as Carson just throws this towards the net and bunker down low. They're trying to cash in. And then this beautiful little move here by Davis as he goes in and out. And then he ends up making a stretch pass as he could have maybe tried to throw that shot onto the net. As he had all the time in the world to try to elevate that puck, but decided to pass it off and try to find a one-time option. And Joe Ranger caught a bit of a break there as the Vipers could have easily made, put that into the back of the net. Absolutely, a lucky break for the Nationals. As they were going to try to break out of their own zone here. Sam O'Reilly tears it up to the up to the red line, blue line. They'll dump it in behind over, over to Mill. Mill stalls up, keeps the puck though. Tries to get over to Palmer. That gets blocked by Davis. Stolen now by Hamlin. McManus. He makes a nice move. Gets by his man. Davis across the blue line. He's got a man with him. Davis right up front. Takes it on Dennis scores. And just like that, Cole Davis gets his second of the night and makes it 2 nothing. LaSalle. Well, this is just a great individual effort here by Davis on this play. He calls for it right in the neutral zone. You see him tapping his stick saying, I want it, I want it. And then he's able to drive right in towards Joe Ranger, makes a little in and out move. And right there, he just gets it towards the inside. Joe Ranger gets a pad on it, but it just still slides through underneath his pad and into the back of the net. And now it is two to nothing for the LaSalle Vipers, courtesy of Cole Davis. Goals number 18 and 19 on the campaign for him. Now up to 38 points as he's chasing 40 points on the season. And even, even if he didn't manage to get that Versus shot off, getting Granero head right down to the net on that open wing. Uh, so that was just like just an insurance marker there as the uh, Vipers all kind of chances. Here come the Nationals across the blue line. They try to break out front. Holding on to the puck. Cross ice pass out of nowhere. No one there. Foot race now. Ludington and Booker. Booker gets there, but Ludington gets a nice stick work to box him out. Stolen again. Here comes Ryan Rubric. But one man with him, just gonna try to dance through. Four guys, puts it over to Carson. Carson just missed the net high and wide. Nationals keep the puck. Cop Chuck, shot from distance. That gets blocked. Weingard will collect it now. He's gonna bring it out. Nice tip to Cop Chuck. Over to Rubric. Rubric walks in, takes a chance, just can't get it onto the forehand to get it past Micheloni. Lead pass clears the zone. Back to Weingart. Weingart, he's got Carson. Carson now carries it over the blue line. He drops it over to Thompson. Thompson puts it on net just wide. He had an open chance on the far side. Another shot on net. This time goes right into the logo of Micheloni. He'll hang on and slow play down. He started to tip a little bit onto the Nationals end for the first time this game. Yeah, and once again, when you have Ryan Rubrick into the lineup for the Nationals, he just draws attention. He draws four LaSalle Vipers to him. And then the second opportunity on the breakaway gets a stick check there from Micheloni. As Micheloni certainly knows who Ryan Rubrick is, and he knows to be very active on that as we now have a tripping call here. And this is going to go to the Nationals. The Vipers already up 2-0. We'll get their first power play of the night. As heading into the box is Riley Wood. Two minutes for tripping. Vipers coming in here with the sixth best power play in the league. And it happens right off of that face off as he takes down his man in Carson Woodall as Woodall was trying to get him up and away with his speed and Wood takes him down and he mentioned to Kyle already up two. A chance here for the South Vipers to go up three as they've got Davis up in the defensive position trying to maybe get a one-time option. 
Yeah, the, uh, the control the Vipers have in this game already, I would not be surprised if they'll be trying to feed him pucks. Playing right down low, hold on, trying to get the puck right out front. Can't quite connect. Sandeman, he's going to try to move out. He's got Thompson with him. Bows it over to Thompson, ends up right between his legs. The combo collected for the Vipers, they turn back the other way. Over to Davis. Davis just going to try to split the D, gets past one. But good stick work by Weingart stops him from breaking through both. Davis again, cross ice pass. Bounces over a stick. Vipers still maintain possession. Davis again. He's just going to try to break down into the slot. He takes a shot, goes off the leg of Weingarten over the net. Back over to Lacotte. Lacotte's pass, that gets blocked. But he managed to maintain possession. A minute left in the power play. Puck sent over to Davis. Davis dumps it in. Oh, he couldn't get a hold of it. Puck will come down the length of the ice. Maloney will come out to play. Draw pass for Lacotte. Intended for Davis, a little too far in his reach. Martin there to receive it. Back across the blue line. Martin just can't hold on to the puck. Finds it now. He brings it up the left wing side, looking for that open wing. Woodall. Back to, back to Martin. Martin pressured by McKinnon. Vipers still can't try to get a puck into that slot area. Nationals penalty kill doing a great job shutting down the box. Great defensive play by Griffiths as he moves the puck and gets the puck. Stolen again. Nationals defenders just continue to apply a ton of pressure to keep it out. Here we go. Milne, he gets taken down, and the Nationals going to get a power play. Walking in. Milne over to O'Reilly. O'Reilly open net, takes the shot, scores! And just like that, the Nationals back in the game, two to one. And this all starts with the hustle by Milne on this play as he's able to track that puck inside the London zone and he's able to find Wood on this play as they're able to work it down low and a beautiful shot there by Wood goes onto the knee to make sure he gets enough pressure on the shot as O'Reilly finds Wood, backdoor Wood had just come out of the box. So a five on five goal for the Nationals on their 15th shot of this contest now makes it a two to one game. The Nationals are back in this 22nd goal of the season for Riley Wood as he continues his per impressive play against the LaSalle Vipers. And he's uh, brought the Nationals back in this contest uh, as they do it with the extra attacker on the ice. Pace Roth over to Ludington. Ludington can't handle the pass. But will still keep possession of the offensive zone. Dumps it behind the net. Ryan, or Carson, tries to get a hold of the puck. Pace Roth in there to help along with Jackson Bunker. Puck comes around. Nice tip right out of midair. Almost picked up by Pace Roth. Vipers quickly try to turn it around but can't connect. Open chance here. Here comes Bunker. Bunker's got an open chance. He just takes it and just throws it quickly on net. I don't think he saw he had an extra ma open man coming down the left wing side. I also feel that Bunker may have felt that he had pressure, but he didn't really have pressure on him on this play. He just basically got this, took a couple of strikes right in, and shoots this one. And he had a whole lot of space to just drive the net on that play, Kyle. He could have easily tried to do the same move that Davis did down on the opposite end. Taken by Rubrik, back out front. O'Reilly almost gets a stick on it. Puck comes back to the blue line. Hotchuck can't get a hold of it. Vipers bring it across the blue line. Just dropped intended for Knight, but misses everybody. Drop back over by O'Reilly. O'Reilly across the blue line. He's got a man with him. Backhand pass over to Rubrik. Rubrik right back out front. Tries to get it onto the stick. Out front, but just can't get it to go is Palmer. Or is uh, Tanner Ryan. Nicoloni very boisterous on this play as once again Rubrik gets it over there and that's a beauty toe save and then the shot right afterwards and then Nicoloni's mask gets nicked there by Woodall and I'm sure that that is what Nicoloni was trying to mention to 
Woodall on that play is watch where your feet are as he took a shot there off the side of his mask as they're now making a small little repair to the net. 9-10 to go here in the second period and the shots are now almost getting back to even now. 20 for the Vipers and 18 for the Nationals. A much different looking Nationals team we've seen here in the second period. But here come the Vipers. They're going to bring into the offensive zone again. Tries to get a shot off. Fans on the attempt. Still maintaining possession. Back up to the blue line for Hamlet. Hamlet takes a shot. That goes hard right off the leg of O'Reilly. Favoring the leg. Back up front. Shoots and scores. As lead Knight. Beautiful positioning. Just gets a puck and throws it into the empty cage. Well, this is a right place at the right time moment here for Knight as this was a wraparound shot that ends up just going right onto Knight's stick. As the puck is worked down low, you can see there's the potential wraparound shot that ends up being a pass and Knight just ends up getting back right out in front and has an open cage as Ranger is down on the play. And a beautiful goal there by Knight as he's able to put that one in the back of the net and restore LaSalle's Two goal lead for Knight. That is his fifth on the campaign. With uh, the goal there, uh, Ranger looked like he thought he had it after the wraparound. I don't think he was expecting a pass. And Knight, who's looked dangerous for most of the night, finally gets uh, rewarded for his efforts. Today restores the two goal lead for the Vipers. And they'll come back on the attack again. Right across the blue, another shot. Quick glove save by Ranger. Seeing the adjustment by the Nationals now is we're starting to see the London Deep be a little more aggressive, but at the same time, they're having that forward come back. If they recognize that their D are pinching, they have that coverage back. And so that's why it's important to make sure you communicate to the forwards that if you're going to pinch, you need to have someone come from the forward group to cover you off while that pinch is happening. O'Reilly across the blue line. He's got Bill with him. Nice defensive play. Hucks batted out of mid-air by, by, uh, by Findley. Fib tears it across the blue line. Gets the pass right in the middle of the ice. That gets deflected. Gillis there to collect it. Throwing it around the boards. Findley will find it on the far side. Tried to get over to Graniero, but can't quite connect on the, on the pass. O'Reilly picks it up. He tries to get a lead pass going. Stalled up right at the blue line, held on to by Palm. Palm dumps into the far side. Milne gets a hold of it. Tries a little back pass intended for O'Reilly, but turned back around into the offensive zone. Here comes Davis. Davis stopped up by what by Weingart. Played the far side. O'Reilly stops him up. Still holding on to the puck this time is McManus. He's gonna take a shot right on net. Another glove save by Ranger. And a good offensive speed once again by Davis on that play as he tried to go wide with a good defensive play by McKinnon recognizing that Davis is going to try to make the toe drag move on that play to get towards the net. So the London D are starting to pick up on the LaSalle Vipers offensive antics. One, face off one by the Vipers but can't do anything with it. Pucks down low, still maintaining possession. Back to the blue line for Hamlin. Hamlin, draw sights. Can't quite connect on the pass properly as that comes back out on the stick of Woodall. Mark, he's got, tries to get, make some room. Brings it right up the middle. Thompson gets a steal on it. Woodall pinches in and collects the puck. Stolen again by the Vipers. They back off, picked up by Hamlin. Up the wall, Connolly tries to clear the zone, but can't. Martin and Connolly, two biggest guys on the ice, foul for the puck in the corner. Woodall, nice little touch pass right up the middle, over to Davis. Now Martin, stolen this time by Sandy. gets the puck out. Nationals going to come in with numbers. Thompson, over to Sandy in the middle. Sandy tries to put it on that backhand chance is denied. As Hamlin as, as uh, Woodall sends it back the other way. Stolen again, this time by Thompson. Thompson winds in, takes a shot, blocker save. By McLeone. Ludington. Don't get a hold of it. Strikes it out front, tries to get a nice little backhand in tight. McLeone reads it well and makes the save. 
Good shot on the net by Thompson as we'll take a look at it. He gains the zone and basically the Vipers back off and he's able to get a good shot off as he tries to beat Michelone top glove side, but Michelone was aggressive right to the top of the blue paint and makes that easy save. Face off one by the Vipers as they'll bring out Fender. Tries to get over to Booker, a little too high for him to handle. Carson will send him to the offensive zone. Michelone will take it out, sends it back down into the corner again. Over to Booker. Booker, cross ice pass, almost gets picked off. Does come out of the zone and brought out by Horn. Horn will dump it into the offensive zone. Tell he'll take it back on the ice for the far or the Vipers. Nassers will get it up to the red line in the offensive zone by Carson. Horn, nice little back pass. And a little too much on the second attempt there by Drouillard. I'll just go into the netting and out of play. And 5.09 to go. Shots again closer here in the second period. As you mentioned it, Kyle, the Nationals have done a really good job here in period number two of when they have the puck, they try to get into the offensive zone as quick as they can. And one of the guys that has done a lot of that so far tonight has been Ryan Rubrick. Again, the potential first overall pick in this year's OHL priority draft. It'll be very interesting to see where his career goes after his time is done here in the GOJHL. Play down low. Knight brings it out front, tries to get the one timer in front of the net. West misses his target. McCaught at the blue line, holds on to the puck. McCaught waits, still holds. Now th throws it down to the corner. Knight gets pushed off the puck by Weingart. Stolen now by Rubrik. Rubik up the wall, carried out by Palmer, and he gets it over to Ryan. Ryan back out front. Rubik shoots and scores! Ryan Rubik brings the Knights Nationals back within one. I think this kid's pretty good. He's pretty good. I mean, he gets this puck on a nice little feed, and he's able to bury this one as, again, good zone entry here by the Nationals as Rubik, from where he is, and the talent that he has, that puck goes in 10 times out of 10. That, you do not give Ryan Rubrick this much room or else he's gonna make you pay. And he did just that on that play as again, the Nationals are back to within one. And if you're an OHL club at near the bottom of the standings, you've got to be happy with what you see out of the goal production from Ryan Rubrick. Just absolutely great play down low and just perfect pass out front to Rubrick. He makes no mistake. Nationals still have some work to do, though. Down one still, but that gap has been shut down quite a bit again. Hamill tries to send it back down into the corner and does. McManus can't quite get a hold of it. He gets pushed into the boards. Still can't get a hold of it. Bow for the puck continues. Two Nationals, three Vipers. Puck finally squeezes out. Puck right on net, that one just goes out. Rubrik his third goal of the season as well. So in just a few games he's played with the Nationals has made a big impact. Pass over to Woodall. Brings it up front, gets it, that goes off a leg of Davis. Milt tries jumping on him quickly. Pass stolen by McKinnon, stolen back by Davis. Davis gonna try to catch his man sleeping. Davis walks in, takes a shot. Catches Ranger high and goes over the net. Mill long pass for O'Reilly into the offensive zone. O'Reilly over skates and he had Carson going right down the middle. Now trying to send a pass that goes off the skate of Woodall. Oh. Over to Connolly now. Um, quickly moves the puck up the wall. Vipers pick it off right at the half boards. Back in right on net and hangs on. There's a Ranger. Ranger coming up big on another play by Davis. Is Davis able to get this puck from the blue line and he's away on the wide side. And he tries to beat Joe Ranger up over the blocker as Ranger is starting to pick up on Davis's tactics as, as a goaltender. You know what shooter's trying to want to do. 
as most shooters today want to try to beat you up high, so Ranger does a good job there of fighting it off, and it goes off his shoulder and up off the glass. Sanity, he's going to hold on to the puck. Carries it behind the net, tries to cycle out front. What? Scores! Brayton Thompson ties the game at three. Well, Thompson had a shot on the net earlier on, and you knew after that shot that he was going to potentially get one here tonight, and he gets rewarded as this puck just basically gets right out in front. A beautiful feed by Riley Wood, just seeing Thompson swing down low, and Thompson's not going to miss from that spot either. And the Nationals have had three goals in this period to now tie this game back up at three. We saw this happen on last Friday in St. Thomas where the Nationals were down two to nothing against the St. Thomas Stars. They end up to come back and beat the Stars six to three. So another potential comeback on our hands here for the Nationals. The Nationals offense, what does heat up, it does work. It just has to get started in the first place, it seems. We saw it last week as well. As uh, Brayden Thompson, his 14th goal of the season off just absolutely fantastic feed by Riley Wood as he gets his second part of the night. Back down low, puck goes right through the blue ice. Nationals collected. Bringing out is Ludington. Ludington goes right through the middle, tries to dish it off over to under the stick of Rubric. Palmer gets taken down behind the net. Bouncing puck, that's going to come out. Ludington's got a bit of room. He's got Booker right up behind him. Stalls up. Nice little play by, by Ludington. Gets himself some space. Up to Rubric along the blue line. He tries to throw it down to Palmer. Palmer gets tripped up. And the Ranger, one of the Vipers players without a stick. Sent down into the offensive zone. Conley will pick it up. Sends out the boards to Wood. Back over to Weingart. Weingart across the blue line. His pass intended for Thompson. gets stopped by Woodall. Nashes will collect the puck again. Another pass that was intended for, for Weingart this time. That gets blocked. Davis collects it. He uses Knight as a, as, a, as a screen. Puts it right out front. Nice chance out front, but a beautiful save by Ranger. Davis over to Woodall. Woodall behind the net. Back into the slot, Davis, he takes a shot, bouncing puck, that slides wide. Kopchuk finds it. Long pass, nice backhand, backhand stick work by Thompson, but he can't get it on the stick of wood. 30 seconds left here in the second period. Davis has it pinned along the boards. Wood trying to get a hold of it. Weingarten, Knight, Thompson in there as well. Still can't get the puck to go. Some of the Nationals defenders just waiting for it to move. Finally does come out. Goes back to Hamlin right at the red line. And that's going to do it for the second period. As, as the Nationals end here. Off what was a crazy end of the game, end of the period. Yeah, and a big, huge patch save right near the tail end of this second period as Joe Ranger comes up big once again as we close out this second period. National Storm back here, score three, and tie this game at 3-3 as we head into the second intermission on the London Bruins go off Nationals Hockey on Rogers TV.
Welcome back, fans. I'm joined here with Isaiah Lettington, new addition to the London Nationals. Isaiah, what's your favorite thing about playing for this franchise? Um, when I first came here, everybody was uh, welcoming. Uh, I got in here, gave me all my equipment. Everybody was nice to me, and they just got me in the roster. So, yeah, everybody was just a great sport about me coming here. All uh, met me, introduced themselves, and it was just a great experience. Now, other than hockey, you do play a few other sports. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so growing up, I played basketball and lacrosse, uh, both at a pretty high level. Lacrosse I got from my brother, so I always just went for that. In basketball, all my friends are playing, so I just decided to join in. And yeah, it was great, but unfortunately, hockey's a primary sport, so I had to go with hockey and drop my other two sports. You were on the ice with that last goal with the London National to tie it up 3-3. How are you looking to build that momentum going into this third period? Yeah, the the boys are we're pretty happy about all of our goals in the second. I think everybody's going to keep on working hard, keep on pushing the pace and take it to them in the third. Thanks so much, Isaiah. We'll be right back with more London Brewing Co-op Nationals Hockey right after this. Western Fair Sports Center as the London Nationals claw their way back into this contest and tie it up three to three after 40 minutes of play. Uh, impressive performance by that London Nationals roster really coming alive in that second period. Yeah, confidence can be an amazing thing. And as soon as they got that first goal, they got their feet underneath them. They were able to drive a lot of the play inside of LaSalle zone and they were able to find the loose puck, find that open space and able to capitalize and beat Micheloni, who has been really good in here tonight. 
So now 3-3. Three, three. We've seen them come back in these situations before. And we can see if they can get these key two points and go back into first place in the Western Conference. Absolutely. Still a lot to play here in this game. 20 minutes left. But we'll take a look at what we saw in this second period as the Nationals come out strong. Uh, but it is the Vipers who strike first here in the second period. Big job crashing the net. Nationals come back quickly right after that to get on the board for the first time um, at rate right as the penalty expires. Uh, and they have a pending penalty themselves. And then the other side, Vipers score again, regain that two goal lead. And then the Nationals come alive. Beautiful work down here. Ryan Rubrick, beautiful place, right place, right time, ties the game, and gets within one. And then this amazing pass by Riley Wood out front to Thompson, ties the game at three. Yeah, and again, just beautiful presence there by the Nationals, working it down low. Davis got his second of the night right early in that second period. Wood, again, shows why he's a big player when it comes to a team against the LaSalle Vipers. He's got good points against this club. And then again, Rubrik getting his third night. His fifth and for Rubrik, that is goal number 61 for him in this year alone. He has a whole bunch of goals, 59 with his U16 AAA Junior Knights team and then now three here with the Nationals. So he is putting up quite an offensive explosion this year, and we'll look to see him and this uh, Kier's coming up OHL priority selection draft. We are interested to see uh, which team ends up with that first overall pick to get him. But looking at tonight's game, uh, we mentioned right after the first period that the Nationals do have to do something. They had to do something to change up. They got absolutely just outplayed completely in that first period. LaSalle was all over them, and that was a completely different team we saw in the second period. Yeah, and you saw the Nationals activate their D a lot more. We've seen Ludington make a few offensive rushes. We've seen Connolly make a few defensive plays as well. And the defense for the Nationals is the reason why they're tied in this game. They've made a lot of great defensive plays helping out Joe Ranger, but at the same side as well, they're doing a really good job of moving that puck. A lot of stretch passes from both these clubs and little touch passes as well by both these clubs and it's rewarding in an offensive game so far and two experienced goaltenders here heading into period number three are looking to shut the door so we'll see which team comes out here will be that first period LaSalle team or that second period Nationals team should be anybody's game here tied 3-3 getting in ready for the third period here on the Lane Brewing Club Nationals Hockey on Rogers TV
Welcome back to the Western Fair Sports Center as we take a look at our Paul Duarte and Associates shots on goal after 40 minutes of play. Nationals offense comes alive in that second period, picking up 14 shots to the Vipers, 11, making the shots 26-21 in favor of the Vipers through 40 minutes of play. But where it matters still stands at 3-3. Taking a look at our next contest for next Wednesday night, the, Le the Leamington Flyers in town to take on the London Nationals. And the Flyers looking for that season sweep against the Nationals. And as always, our third period is brought to you by Collins Clothiers. Taking a look here, Nationals starting out, different lines starting out here on the ice. We were used to seeing the uh, the Thompson line start out uh, the last two periods, bringing out the, uh, the Palmer-Milne uh, line out there along with O'Reilly. See if they can just jumpstart this, this third period a little bit better. Despite the Nationals outplaying the Vipers in the second period, the Vipers did start the period much stronger than the Nationals as well, picking up that early goal. Puck brought out over to Milne. Milne across the blue line. He has Lacott, takes the shot, but is blown offside as O'Reilly just a step ahead. And we mentioned how these two points in tonight's contest are big for both clubs. For London, these two points would put them back in first place in the Western Conference and for LaSalle, these two points would put them only one back of the Nationals from third place. So we talked about it, well, it was a three-team race for first place. It now can potentially be a four-team race for that first seed in the Western Conference for home. Nice, which will be huge come playoff time. That first place in the West as well, still well up for grabs as uh, the St. Mary's Lincolns, who currently hold it, uh, have played three more games than the Nationals and the Flyers, and one more game than the Lakers. Here come the, here come the Nationals, bring up the wing. Sam O'Reilly tries to put it up front to Mill, gets it on net, takes the shot, and scores! Well, when you drive to the net, that's what you get. And what a play by Milne and O'Reilly on the connection as a nice little in and out move by O'Reilly. Tries to feed it over the first time, is off the skate, but the second time works as Milne just does a good job of squaring himself up to the net and he pounds this down flat on the ice. Five hole beats Michelone. And for the first time in tonight's contest, the London Nationals have a lead as you mentioned it Kyle we, they were looking for a spark to start this period number three and they got just that and it's just changing up those lines to start the game does the Nationals wonder back out front Sanofi holds on waits just a little too long Wood puts it on net loose puck still down low backhand chance still loose puck Thompson trying to find it still can't get a hold of it picked up again by Sanofi whistle does blow as the net is comes off its moorings Faceoff's going to go right to the left of Nicoloni as once again the Nationals putting on a lot of pressure down low as they get it out in front and a scramble, a shot up high from Wood. And again, the scramble is on as they are fixing the moorings once again as the Nationals might have felt that Nicoloni put that post off intentionally as we've seen it come up a couple of times already in tonight's contest. Weingart puts a heavy shot on net. Michelone makes the save, pushes it into the corner. Woodall holds on to the puck. Nice long pass, gets just offside. And it's going to be called intentional, so we're going to come all the way back down into the LaSalle zone. Icing, intentional offside. That could have been either option, but they're actually going to call that the intentional offside as it's going to go just to the right in front of the LaSalle Vipers bench. As shots still read 27 to 23 in favor of the LaSalle Vipers as London's starting to carry the puck more here in this contest. Thompson and Sanity both go tumbling down just inside the Vipers zone. Weingart waits, tries to challenge Martin. And wins, gets the puck up. Here come the Nationals, three on two. Sandby across the blue line, over to Weingart. Beautiful tip play by Martin. Backhand pass right in front of the net, tries to get on the stick of Sandby. Can't do anything with it. Back to the neutralized, coming across. Beautiful work down low by, by Brickett. And then just gets turned around. Wood brings it up the left wing side. His pass, Gats gets picked off. 
into the offensive zone. Eaton down the right wing side. Fought off by Kopchuk. Gets it behind the net to Ryan. Still right on top of him. Gets the puck around into the far corner for Connell. Connolly waits, trying to put it up the wall. That gets stalled up by, by Knight. Eaton takes a shot. Loose puck down low. Great read, keeps the puck out. Comes over to Lacotte. Lacotte waits, gets into the blue line, but just too fast. As the Heat tries to get across the blue line, but just a stride too slow. Face off will come outside of the London zone, and once again, the Vipers were pressing on that play as they do a really good job of trying to drive the play out towards the outside as the Nationals are not allowing many opportunities on the inside in that home plate area where that high offensive opportunities can happen. Right down the middle, walks in, Booker, Booker shoots and scores! Drew Booker puts the game back to fours. Beautiful pass, splits the D, and just like that, we have a tie game once again. And I had just mentioned how London had done a good job of keeping them to the outside. And that's a smart little play there to make a split the D pass. And Booker's away and he shoots this one hard and low and it beats Joe Ranger on the blocker's side. And we're back to even once again, as you mentioned, Kyle, at four apiece, these two teams wanting these two points. Harrison bats that puck out of midair right down onto the net of Michelone and he'll hang on. Off one by the Nationals, but can't do anything with it. Here comes Booker again. Across the blue line. Takes, her, takes a shot. That gets deflected over the net. Pace Roth on the far side. He collects. Gets a little help. Gets the puck out. Here comes Carson. Carson makes his move. Tries to get past Lacotte. Lacotte stalls him up. Gets the puck back over to Booker. Booker up to Davis. Ends up going right in his feet. And it'll be called for an offside. And it'll be another intentional offside as Finley just touches it. And he probably knew it was going to be offside. Yeah, a good little signal there by our friend Kyle Friel as he immediately threw the hand back towards the LaSalle zone and signaled that it's going to go all the way down into LaSalle territory. And another big offensive faceoff here as once again they send out Palmer, O'Reilly, and Milne trying to get another offensive spark. They get that faceoff win. Griffiths takes a shot. Puts it right on net. Another save being forced to be made by Michelone. Back over to O'Reilly. O'Reilly tipped down, flow, tries to get on the stick of Milne. Some great little passing play we're starting to three, see between these three. As uh, we've seen a few games now, these guys have been playing together and they're starting to build some chemistry. McManus tries to get a crawl down low. He gets stalled up, finds a puck again, puts it out front. Nobody there. McKinnon gets it over to O'Reilly. O'Reilly, long pass intended for Mill. Mill blows a tire. Turn back the other way of the, of the Vipers. McManus, nice cross ice pass, gets it right over to the, but over to its intended target in Granero, but can't quite do anything with it. Back over to, over to Griffiths. Griffiths dumps it in. He's going to chase after himself. He takes his man down. Griffiths just all alone, one on four. Man's to come away with the puck and gets it over to Wood. Riley Wood, cross ice, over to Thompson, Thompson, backhand just over the net. Kopchuk banks it down behind the net. Puck comes around the boards. Vipers were in the middle of a change, weren't quite ready for the puck. Picked up by Weingart. Weingart, nice little move. He's going to get to take a bit of room. They bring it for a skate down the middle. Over to Thompson. Thompson takes a shot, rebound chance, tries to get over to Sanavi. Bouncing puck can't find its way onto his stick. Puck collected now by Eaton. Eaton lead pass. That gets picked off by Weingart. Weingart across the blue line. He's going to try to split his way through the D. Still holds onto the puck. Brickett tries to get it across the blue line. He gets stalled up. Back the other way comes Sanavi. Sanavi's got two men with him. He waits. Looking for the pass. Right out front. Takes the shot. Thompson puts it on that huge save by Michelone. 
And that by far is our save of the night so far as Mingaloni stretched across and robbed Thompson of a for sure goal. As we'll take a look as Griffiths goes in pretty lightly played there as the South player goes down and he went straight to the LaSalle dressing room and then a beautiful chance by Thompson. There's the stop by Michelone and the puck is underneath his pad as he makes another great save. Picked off down low, Rubrik, he takes a shot, he had Pace Roth with him. Back on the stick of Rubrik. Back to Luddington, the blue line. Luddington, he's just gonna throw it into the far corner. Pace Roth collects it. Back down over to Ryan. Ryan tight gets toppled down. Still holding on to the puck, thrown to an open wing, nobody there. Luddington will just take it, back in it, back in the offensive zone. Pace Roth tags up. Lakers are going to try to bring it across the red line in the offensive zone. Clock play down low. Luddington forces the turnover. Ryan back over to Pace Roth. He brings it across the blue line. Back over to Ryan. Tries to get a back pass over to Pace Roth again. Quickly turned over by Davis. Now here comes Knight. Knight across the blue line. He's got one goal tonight. Sent behind the Nationals, net Pace Roth will collect it on the far side. Long pass, Ray up to the wing to Rubrik. Rubrik walks in, he takes a shot, blocker saved by Michelone. One play down low, O'Reilly trying to just bully his way on top of the puck. Davis, hard to get off it. Davis dishes it off, Drouillard brings it across the blue line. He tries to get a shot off, gets a pass instead. Kept in by Hamlin. Hamlin takes a shot from distance. Nice read and easy glove save by Ranger. And he'll just slow play down. Slowly played down. It's exactly what Ranger wanted to do. As that puck went right to him, he wanted to make sure that the Nationals had their proper lines out there on this play as we are approaching the midway mark of period number three. So shots again, keeping tight, 30 to 27. Another shot from distance right on the Ranger. He makes another save once again. That is the 32nd shot of the game for the Vipers. Kept Ranger busy all night long. Face off one and back to the blue line. Another shot on net. That gets stopped. Puck comes out, quickly turned over. Another beautiful play by Palmer as he brings the puck over. Over O'Reilly the side, he takes a shot. Rebound chance, Palmer can't get a stick on it. Mill bows for the puck, forced it loose behind the net. Comes up the wall, O'Reilly, he picks it up. He's gonna throw it back down, that goes a little too high. He'll catch the netting and go out of play. And again, this line of Mill O'Reilly and Palmer certainly providing their presence as once again, take a look at this play here by Palmer as he strips the forward of the puck, gets it over to O'Reilly. O'Reilly waits just a second too late on that play as he felt that he had gotten that off just that fraction of a second earlier. He had a dangerous scoring chance to try to get it over the glove of Nicoloni. But once again, Nicoloni proving why this LaSalle team has climbed the Western Conference standings here late and is making a push towards the end of the regular season and into this postseason. Breckett gets it across the blue line over to Martin. Martin takes a shot. That one almost slides through Ranger. Vipers keep the puck. Corralled by Lacotte. He's going to throw it in front of the net. That one just goes through the blue paint. Back to the far side. Sanity can't get a hold of it. Vipers still maintaining possession. Wrap around chance. Batted out of midair. Still hold on to by LaSalle. Breckett takes a shot. That gets blocked by Thompson. Thompson forces it into the corner. He's going to try to move it out. Gets it back into neutral ice. Stone, almost stolen right at the blue line. Breckett across the blue line. Nice little pass down low. Over to McManus. McManus throws it right in the middle, hoping for a teammate to be there. But the Vipers were in the middle of a change. Woodall coming around with speed. Gets around one man, has to dump it in the offensive zone. Connolly will collect it. Moves it past Davis up to Carson. 
Long pass, cross ice into the offensive zone. Another shot from distance. That goes off a blocker and high. McManus brings it, brings the puck out. Woodall into the offensive zone, just offside. Not too thrilled with that as it just goes a little too hard to get a hold of. That good stretch play there, but unfortunately for Woodall, he had a Viper entering the zone just a bit too early as he might have felt that puck should have been dumped in, but nonetheless, Gazelle wins the faceoff and they have possession. Puck comes out, brought over McManus. He gets a stick on it. In the offensive zone. Nero, but he can't go to get a hold of it. Brings out across the red line. Nationals into the offensive zone. Pace Rock. A couple extra moves. Gets it over to Carson. Now behind the net. Bunker back down front. That goes off a leg awkwardly. National player sticks, just gets flung right out of their hands. <laughs> Goes spinning. So we have a face-off here, I believe, just to the left of Nicoloni. Pace Roth stick just gets launched right out of his hands. Just goes flying. Play down. Here come the Vipers into the offensive zone. Pass right off front. Shoots and scores! Beautiful passing play. And McManus puts it home. Patrick McManus, his 10th goal of the season, puts the Vipers up 5 4. And once again, again, a bit of broken coverage here by the Nationals as it leads to another two on one. As a beautiful feed. Down low by Graniero is he's able to find his man to get the back of the net for McManus. And that line has had a really offensive explosion here tonight as Graniero's had a ton of chances in the slot and he's able to dish that one off to McManus. As you mentioned, Kyle, his 10th on the season. Popchuk tries to clear out of the zone. Ends up getting it forced and getting turnover forced on him. Vipers collected again. Still holding on to the puck. Lacotte, he tries to put it on that. Ends up just going wide. Kopchak tries to play it. It's almost stolen again. Rubrik tries to get it out. Gillis almost gets a stick on it. O'Reilly spins around. Almost stolen right off his stick and put right on net. In tight. Conan just gets a great chance right in front of the Nationals cage, but can't convert. Yeah, you can see O'Reilly trying to make that pass that slips off of his stick, and good recognition there by Joe Ranger as he had to be very sharp and quick on that play to recognize that the puck was stand on a potential poke and score opportunity again for the Vipers. Off one by the Vipers. They think another shot on net. That gets deflected and goes down low. Gillis, another shot on net. Loose puck down low. Still trying to find it. Ranger reaching out. Grabs it and holds on. The Nationals continue to just be pinned in their own zone. Can't get anything going to get it out. And that's what happens when you have this LaSalle team that's on pucks right away. They're winning every battle down low. And once again, Ranger had to fight for that one as that one, when it's in tight in that situation for a goaltender, your eyes go in all sorts of different places. As he had it locked onto the puck, he finds it and he ends up covering it up. He's faced a lot of pucks here tonight. 37 shots, five have beaten him. And he's still one of the reasons why in this contest, why the Nationals are only down by one as you're going to start to see the Nationals try to shorten their bench and try to find some more offense. Puck picked up by Ludington. Like, guys kicking it back up to his feet, almost stolen again. As the Vipers continue to apply his full court press onto the Nationals and keep pinned in their own zone. Booker fouls for it with Connolly. The Nationals just efforts all futile to get the puck out. Kept in again by Hamlin this time. Milne tries to clear it. Thompson finally does. 
Brings it out, tries to take a shot. That goes off a skate of Eaton. And we're going to see a penalty coming now to Thompson as the Nationals going to the penalty kill once again. Just they finally get the puck out of their own zone. They're going to be pinned right back in again. Yeah, it just happens down low and that one extra shot by Thompson and he knew right away as the referee's arm went up and so this is going to be a big penalty kill here for the Nationals. Down one. We've seen the Vipers had a very good penalty kill themselves and we'll see if LaSalle can get a power play marker as they have the sixth best power play at 20.4%. Not the best way to start though is Griffiths will come out with the puck. Just puts it right on net. Easily kicked away by Michelone. Viper's gonna bring it in again. They're gonna carry it across the red line from the blue. Turned around by Mark. Gillis. Martin again. Back up the wall. Stolen again by the Nationals. Penalty kills. They'll send it down the length of the ice. Here come the Vipers again. Woodall. He's gonna lead the rush. Off to the blue line. Just hard pressure on him by McKinnon. Back over again. Martin trying to put it down low. That puck gets blocked. Two Nationals going to collide with each other. Big opportunity, but the Vipers can't do anything with it. Puck sent down all the way back in the National zone. The pot will collect it. Lead pass. Here come the Vipers again. Cross the blue line. Conan. He puts it on, just floats it through the air, through the blue paint. Picked off right at the blue line again. Walks in, takes a shot, rebound, chance, puts it just beside the net. McManus now. He's got the puck. He's got one goal in this game. Conan. Back to McManus. Right in the slot. Takes a shot. Lacotte scores! The Vipers regain their two-goal lead on a power play marker from the captain. Goal number 14 on the year for Spencer Lacotte. A power play marker as once again the Vipers move the puck around. It's just a simple one-timer that deflects off the blocker of Joe Ranger down into the back of the net now. Six to four for the LaSalle Vipers now last Wednesday. We've seen the Nationals come back inside the final two minutes, and they're going to need some more of that late game magic here in this one if they want to try to win tonight's contest. Palmer gets stalled up right at the blue line, quickly thrown in by Eaton. Some more of the magic beans might be in the cards again for the Nationals tonight. Eaton gets a hold of the puck. He's going to throw it in the blue into the national zone. Throws a cross ice over to Lacotte. Lacotte waits, tries to put it back out front. That goes off a stick. Picked up by Eaton on the far side. He'll float it behind the net. Ruddington, back pass onto the stick. And the Nationals, they'll send it down the length of the ice. Ryan can't get a stick on. Rubric, nice hustle, gets a sto stick back, puck stolen back from the Nationals. O'Reilly takes a shot, that gets deflected. O'Reilly does a great follow-up, keeps with it. Back to the blue line, Luddington, he's gonna take a shot, that flies wide. Puck back out, straight at the red at the blue line, turn around, O'Reilly will send it back. Back to Ryan, Ryan can't get a hold of it. Luddington, up to Carson. Carson in the offensive zone. He's going to float it on net. Easily picked up and held on to by Meccaloni. This going to force the face off in the uh, Vipers up. And you see on that play that Lucas Carson gained the zone. And he was waiting to see if there'd be any Nationals going towards the net. Recognized that there wasn't going to be anyone heading in that direction. So he just does the right thing. Throws the puck on the net and gets an offensive face off here as we approach the final five minutes. Puck ready to blue line, comes out. Conley just trying to pin it and get a hold of it. It's him and Martin going at it again. That's a few times those two have had a big collision. Oh! 
of another run in right in front of the Nationals bench. Milne gets in between them this time. O'Reilly, cross side pass to Carson. Carson gets it down, tries to get on the stick of Milne. Can't get it on, can't get it on the target. Buck is stolen back and held on to. Hamlin's going to try to move it out. Brick stolen by Griffiths. Griffiths across the blue line. He waits, tries to take a shot. That goes off a skate of Hamlin. Into the far corner. Findley tries to send it out, gets it at the blue line and held in, but almost held in by Carson, but it's going to be said no. I don't want to. Now as you draw closer to the end of this contest, you'll see the Nationals, as I mentioned early on in this period, try to put their offensive players into these types of situations, and now you've got Thompson out there with Wood and Sandy, a bit of a more physical line, but a line that can provide you some offense. Quick shot as it turns around, goes right beside the net. Another shot on net by Thompson. Four minutes left in the game. Nashville still down two. Griffiths trying to pinch his man off. Can't quite get a hold of him. Davis collects the puck again. Back to the blue line for McManus. Tipped out front, just goes wide. Puck stolen again by the Nationals. They're going to try to come out here. Two on one. Walks in, waits, puts it on net, just can't get it through. And the whistle blows. And the net is off its moorings down in the Vipers zone. Yes, and the faceoff is going to come outside because of the fact that Thompson drove right to the net. And then it was pushed off because Thompson pushed a little south player into the net, which is why this puck comes outside. And We'll have to keep our eye out for Joe Ranger here as we have three and a half minutes to go. Down two, we'll see when he starts to head towards the bench. He's looking that way now. Fox thrown right out the boards. Vipers are going to try to clear the zone. Kept in by Sandby, now does come out. Back on the stick of Weingart. Over to O'Reilly. Tries to throw it right back up the middle onto the stick of Sandby. Ends up back in the national zone. Vipers pending offside. Nationals on a turn. Here goes Ranger. Three minutes left in the game. Six on five on the ice. Nationals down two goals. Sam O'Reilly, he's going to try to get a piece of it. Wood does. Wood gets it out front. O'Reilly can't get a shot off. And that one goes a bit too high. Catches the netting and goes out of play. The faceoff will stay inside. So now the Nationals will get to set up their six on five opportunity here as we'll see where they want to position their players as it looks like Weingart's going to play on his offside with Kopchak playing on his offside as well and Rivers going to play the shooting position. Another shot right from the blue line by Weingart. It's worked it, it worked last week they're going to try to push it again. Right down low held on Nationals pick it up Frank it out front. Rubric tries to get it on net but can't get it through. Foot race for the puck, Kopchak picks it up. Venturelli, he takes his man down. Nationals will come away with the puck still. Long pass onto the stick of Rubric. Rubric is going to try to muscle his way to the front of the net. Wraparound chance, puts it out front, nobody there. O'Reilly goes toppling down into the corner with his man. Cross ice pass over to Rubric. Rubric throws it towards the net, nobody there for the rebound once again. Weingart picks it off out of midair. Nationals still maintain possession in the offensive zone. Down low, puck comes back up to the blue line. Kopchak, he takes a shot. Right on net, still can't get it to go through. Kopchak again, he's got room. He's going to float it on net. Loose puck, tries to get a rebound as Ruber can't quite get it. Shot after shot going right on net. Puck finally gets cleared the, uh, the length of the ice, but it will be an icing, and we're going to come back down. Minute 43 remaining here in the game. As the Nationals gain chances, but are not getting anything by Micheloni. And a tired, tired forward group for the LaSalle Vipers, but a smart little veteran play here by Micheloni as he asks the linesman to check the post to make sure, so a little bit of a veteran play to get a timeout. We are going to get a timeout now as I believe it has been called 
and looks like it's the Nationals that have called the timeout. Or pardon me, it is actually the LaSalle Vipers that called the timeout to give the players on the ice a big rest and draw up their defensive schemes. As the Nationals are going to want to push that puck as again, you've got Carson out on the ice with Palmer, O'Reilly, Weingard, and Rubrik. So you're six guys trying to drive the net with that shot. You know Rubrik's going to look hard to get it, but also see if a guy like Lucas Carson will be towards the side of the net for a deflection tip in situation. And we'll see what comes out of this. The National trying to write up some kind of play here. And you got to expect the tr with O'Reilly and, and uh, Rubrik being the last two out there, they're going to be the trigger men. Also, don't forget about Weingard on the point. He got those two goals last week. He had the one-timer, and then he just had that floater from that far blue line. So we'll see what the Nationals can draw. And the puck comes down the length of the ice. Picked up by Weingard. Weingard pressured quickly behind his own net. He's just trying to look for some help. Puck is picked by, by Kopchuk. They get the puck up. Here comes Rubrik. Rubrik across the blue line, gets stalled up by the puck again, takes a shot, rips it just high. Puck gets sent out. Great read by Carson to pick it out of midair. Carson just going to dump it in. Lyington, he's going to pick it up. Lyington, Lyington's going to take a shot for it. And that's just going to go wide. Or oh, Michelone. why not? Michelone was looking for it. You know, you know he wants it. Why not? He had the time and the space. He just shot that one. You're up two just a goals. Too far wide. Yeah, absolutely. You're you're up two, and he had the space for it. So why not try to take a goalie goal shot? We haven't seen one. We'd love to certainly have it. But no, no shot. That finds way. Scores. <laughs> Tips out front. One minute left, and the Nationals cut the lead to one. And it looks like Riley Woods going to get the deflected shot on the net as they win this draw. And right away, they put it towards the front of the net. Shot by Kopchuk, and Wood just gets what appears to be maybe his skate as it hits off of him, goes up and over the blocker, or pardon me, the pad of Michelone. And now with exactly one minute, Ranger has to go back into his crease, and he's going to wait for the Nationals to get set up again. And he will once again head to the bench for another six on five. Back over to O'Reilly. O'Reilly dumps it in. Nicoloni just stays in the net. Thompson, he's going to pick it up. He's going to put it on net. Nationals again. Rebound chance. That one flies right through the crease. Line guard tries to keep it in. Sanavi, he can't keep the line. Picked up by Luddington over to Line guard. Down to O'Reilly over to Wood. Drop for O'Reilly. Riley kept tipped out front for Thompson. Nationals trying to break it back out front, holding onto the puck. Weingart again, can't quite get the shot off. Fans on it, and the puck will go down the length of the ice. Ten less than 10 seconds left, one last chance. Can the Nationals get a hold of it? No, and time will expire. But it's going to be an ice on icing, so we're going to come back down into the National zone. Ranger comes back on the ice. The Nationals back-to-back -back weeks get close, but are not going to be able to complete the comeback. All kinds of dangerous chances. But Ian Michelone, fantastic play, keeps the Vipers in this game and holds on for the 6-5 win. We'll be back with our three stars and final thoughts after this.
Nationals Hockey here on Rogers TV. Those Sal Vipers come away with a big two points in a 6-5 victory over the London Nationals, cutting that lead down in the standings quite a bit. And uh, it is all thanks to just a very solid effort all around by a Vipers team and a solid third period. Absolutely, and I mean, that's what this LaSalle Vipers team has done all year long. They don't have a player on their roster that's averaging a point per game pace so far this season. So you're relying on your entire lineup to provide that depth scoring. And that's exactly what you saw tonight from this LaSalle team. They were able to get the goals when they needed to. And now we only sit one point back of the London Nationals for third in the Western Conference. Things don't get any easier for the Nationals with the uh, Leamington Flyers back in town next week. So, but before we get to that, we'll take it down to our three stars uh, with Jason. Thanks so much, Callan. Jeremy, the LaSalle Vipers wrap up tonight's game with a 6-5 victory over the London Nationals as we head into our three stars of the game. Our third star of the night, Patrick McManus with a goal and an assist. And the game winner, our second star, Nolan Mill with a goal and an assist. And our first star of the game tonight, Cole Davis with two goals and two assists. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in with us this evening from Kyle, Jeremy, myself and the crew. Tune in next week when the Leamington Flyers are in town to take on the London Nationals here on Rogers TV.